We all know Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be absolutely massive and so technologically advanced compared to Grand Theft Auto predecessors. We're going to be getting into all of that today and a whole lot more. But before we get straight into this video today, if you're new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as 89.7% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss any of the latest and upcoming GTA 6 content, so please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. So if you guys missed my last video and everything we do know about GTA 6 so far, Based off what we do know currently at the moment about the release window that is going to be released within the years of either 2024 or 2025 based off Rockstar Games' parent company Take-Two Interactive and their predictions for what they're going to be producing in terms of their revenue and their net bookings in that period. They are projecting over $8 billion in net bookings, which seems to be that there is only one title that is going to be producing those numbers and that is Grand Theft Auto 6. And it did make me wonder in regards to how Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to live up in comparison to Grand Theft Auto 5 and previous Grand Theft Autos in terms of all of the graphical enhancements that we're going to be seeing within GTA 6. We all know the visuals for GTA 6 are going to be absolutely top notch because we know that Rockstar Games have produced masterpieces in their past and that being their most recent title Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5. And with the power of the current generation of consoles that we currently have at the moment, that being the Xbox Series X, S and PlayStation 5, Rockstar Games are going to want to make sure that they utilize all of the hardware capabilities to their full potential to make sure that Grand Theft Auto 6 is an immersive experience. And of course, they have the power and ability to make sure that Grand Theft Auto 6 is an expansive world that does continue to gradually build over time. Now, there was an article that came out by Tom Henderson, who is a reputable games insider for games such as Call of Duty and Battlefield. And also, he does have a lot of inside information in regards to Grand Theft Auto and, of course, companies such as Microsoft and Sony. And Tom Henderson claims that PS5 Pro is in development, which is looking like it is going to release in late 2024. The article reads as insider gaming sources have confirmed that the PS5 Pro is in development and could release with a tentative release date of late 2024. They also claim that they understand that the PS5 Pro will have increased visuals, performance and speeds. PlayStation architect Mark Cerny suggests that Sony Interactive Entertainment, who owns PlayStation, is looking to accelerate ray tracing performance in video games. Now this is great for all fans because this is going to be a mid-gen refresh console of this generation which is going to enable everyone to experience this new technology. Now it definitely does feel like this console generation that it has started quite slowly and that is partly due to the COVID pandemic and of course the chip shortages. Now tying this in with GTA 6, we do currently know at the moment that it is going to have a slated release window of either 2024 or 2025. Now this does make me wonder of a potential partnership between Sony and Rockstar Games regarding the PlayStation 5 Pro and GTA 6 as a bundle. We do know that in the past, Rockstar Games have partnered with Sony and PlayStation to release the PlayStation 3 console and GTA 5 as a bundle, definitely likely that Rockstar Games are going to once again partner with Sony to release GTA 6 on the PlayStation 5 Pro within a bundle. Don't see why Rockstar Games and Sony wouldn't do this. I would see that it would be a past opportunity if they did not go with this approach. If you think from a financial and a logical standpoint, Grand Theft Auto 6 is arguably the most anticipated title of all time. Rockstar Games are going to want to ensure that they partner with the most successful gaming platform, that being PlayStation and Sony, to market GTA 6 on the PlayStation 5 Pro. I see it as a no-brainer, a win-win situation for both companies, that being Rockstar Games, Sony, and a PlayStation. Now I want to hear from you guys in that comment section below. What do you guys make of this information? I'll be making sure to leave a link in the description if you want to read the full article. Please make sure to subscribe to Project Vice, like and comment down below your thoughts on the situation. But other than that guys, make sure to turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6 content and any other Rockstar Games projects in their pipeline. But other than that guys, I am out.